you know, just a few moments ago, Bill Clinton came out to try to deal with the, uh, the, the brouhaha, the hubbub, as he called it, that has arisen uh, from his saying um, defiantly that he never apologized personally to Monica Lewinsky. Uh, he again came out tonight and said, oh, well, I did it publicly and that's good enough. Your Democratic colleague, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, said recently that with the way things have changed and the Me Too movement, that President Bill Clinton should have resigned during the Monica Lewinsky scandal. And uh, he was asked about this, and here's how he responded. You have to really ignore what the context was. Then. But, you know, she's living in a different context, and she did it for different reasons. So I, uh, but I just disagree with her. Who do you agree with, him saying he should have stayed in office or, or, or Senator Gillibrand saying he should have resigned? Yeah, Aaron, I was 15 years old when that happened. I, I, I was raised that when you screw up and you make a mistake, you say sorry. And if it's not good enough for the person you're apologizing to, you keep saying sorry until they feel comfortable uh, and you are recognizing that you made a mistake. I think the most important thing we can do for the Me Too movement, though, is make sure that every woman in America is protected at her workplace. And it's not only people in powerful positions. There's a lot of women who work for powerful people who are not regarded as powerful to the media, but they have yes. to deal with harassment and discrimination every day. And we should move quickly in Congress in a bipartisan way to protect those individuals. But the bottom line is you're saying he should apologize and he should apologize directly to her, but you're not weighing in on the resignation. I, it, again, I was 15. I, I, don't, I don't think going backwards helps this movement, uh, it's especially going back into the 90s. I think women deserve to be protected. Women should be protected in the workplaces today. And that's the most important part of this movement. Congressman, thank you for your time.